going on guys glass face here and yes guys it has been definitely a week maybe a little over a week since i last posted i hadn't put on my twitter the reason why and that's just because i felt like shit i was like reaching temperatures like way like almost above 102 is like 101 something it was almost 102 my mouth i just got like these awful i mean really bad fever blisters i don't i've never heard that term ever before never have ever had one Pretty much it's legitimately just like a canker sore on steroids and i had them like on like my inner lip and like one of my tongue oh my god i couldn't speak i legitimately could not speak for more than like 10 minutes and i had to get off and right now my mouth is super fucking dry still and that's why i'm drinking like tons of water like right now like every single time you see a cut chances are i'm drinking like a gallon of fucking water that shit is so fucking good the game just hit me back to the lobby so that's awesome oh great amazing so since i was gone for about a week again i was just laying in my bed over there watching like what was like cr true crime or crime daily or something like that it's just like we're a bunch of murder and ho uh not horror but like crime documentaries i mean i guess you could say horror because some of that shit that people have done to other people is just actually fucking disgusting. Actually, like, what, three days ago, and I still have the raw recording of it. I tried making a video, and I actually tried making the video, have my mic over there, but again, I wasn't feeling good, so I didn't want to go through the necessary steps I needed to take in order for my mic to work from here over there and still sound decent. Only was I getting mad the whole fucking, literally shit, the whole video, I was just getting fucking pissed off. Like, I was sweating, I was hot, my game was fucking lagging, my game was, like, all at the verge of crashing. I was not picking up jack shit, I, oh my god, I was just getting fucking mad the whole time, man. Since I was gone for a week, again, like I said, I was just in my bed the whole time, right? So, I remember a couple, like, actually, about, you know what, I just want to say, actually, about a week ago at this point. One fucking week ago, and yes, I know I can't speak because my mouth is super fucking dry right now, so bear with me. A week ago, I was talking about how I applied to Kidoba in a few places to get a job, right? About a week and a half ago, I went to an interview, and I don't think I got the job, which is whatever, but a, a different Kidoba called me, and they wanted to have an interview. Did they know I was sitting in my fucking bed, my mouth, like, my mouth, guys? Let's put it this way. The feeder blisters on my lips were so fucking bad, and I'm, this is gonna get fucking, like, TMI, but... woke up in the morning, it's like, two days in a row, and my mouth... Like, cause it was like almost glued together. That just even just sounds fucking gross saying, but that's the fucking bare truth. My mouth was glued together. When I woke up in the morning, my mouth, since it was like just completely, like I said, glued together, like trying to open my mouth up and my mouth would just like, my lips would start fucking bleeding because I had to rip the shit apart pretty much. Calling me and they're like, hey, do you want to come in for an interview? Do you want to do all this stuff? Keep in mind, like right now I'm speaking okay. Yeah, I might be slurring some fucking words because some shit might just be, it's just hard for me to speak right now. Well, days ago when the Qdoba called, I had to like force my, like just not really my voice, but just how I spoke so fucking hard. After that conversation, I went upstairs, grabbed a bunch of fucking Advil, and drank a lot of water, like, ice-cold water. Like, it just felt so good to actually just drink that shit. Oh, my God. I remember. It just... Oh, God. Like, it just felt amazing, honestly. Wow, imagine stunning me and still getting clapped on. You're fucking dog shit, dude. The whole Qdoba thing. So this other one called, and they're like, yeah, you want to come in, whatever. And again, I had a hard time speaking, so I had to talk with her. And it lasted, the conversation lasted longer than I thought. I, was, I thought it was just as simple as like, hey, you want to come in for an interview? We can do all this. When are you free? Conversation lasted for about eight fucking minutes. I don't know why. I don't know if I was dozing off. I don't know if I said something dumb and she's trying to figure out if I'm retarded or not. But when I'm talking with her, right, uh, I didn't think my mouth and like me being sick was gonna last as long as it did and, and as painful as it was. Days after they called me for the interview and everything like that, right? Because while the day happened, I said, yeah, you know what? Friday will work and keep in mind, it's like Wednesday. Days later, it's Friday. And she's like, she calls me back. She's like, hey, are you coming in still? All this sort of stuff. I completely forgot because my mouth actually got even worse. My fever got even worse. Everything was just fucking awful. Told her something and no, it's not a straight lie. This actually is true. I just kind of expanded it just a tiny bit. Time, my truck was also getting its uh, ball joints completely changed. So I had to go pick up, pick, you know, pick up my truck. And I had the interview scheduled for like what one, yeah, like one o'clock on Friday. My truck was getting you know, was already done, right? But I didn't get to the shop or where my truck was until like, what, 12.30 and then I had to just drive, right? So I obviously, like, I could have made it right there from the shop to the Qdoba for the interview, right? But not only could I still not speak and I was in so much pain, I looked like a fucking hobo. Worse like, during that shit than I do right now. I'm not gonna go there. I'm just gonna be wasting my time. I'm gonna show up like I live in the backside of Denny's and it's just like, hey, give me a job. It's it's not gonna happen. But 100%, I may or may not have, uh, you know, called in and called up on it uh they haven't called me i haven't called them i think we're kind of a mutual statement that i'm not gonna get the job <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm such a fucking idiot, dude. No, that's pretty much what my week's been like, watching a lot of murder documentaries and uh, not getting fucking employed, so that's pretty cool. I'm probably just gonna apply at, like, Walmart or something, guys. I don't know what the fuck I'll do. I'll, I'll apply somewhere and do something like that and <laughs> see whatever fucking works out. I'm laughing because it's serious, like, oh my god, Sam, like, you need to get your shit together. Dude, I'm sorry. It's just my stupidity sometimes just makes me fucking laugh. I've been able to laugh like for the lot, you know, like last week, so the shit's feeling awesome right now. And tomorrow, or tomorrow, or at least within two days, guys, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna be starting a playthrough. People who don't follow me on Twitter, I found a horror game that looks pretty decent, and it's something that I could uh, pretty much squeeze in uh, before Resident Evil 8 or Village comes out, however you want to put it. It's gonna be called Visage or Visage. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I was watching like little previews on steam and everything like that and i watched like a like, 30 second run through about what the game is about from like this one youtuber this overall looks good i'm probably gonna start the maybe recording the first part maybe after i you know obviously edit and upload this shit on the co next couple days i'm gonna be starting the playthrough and the thing i'm worried about guys is that when i'm going through i'm searching the game up on youtube it's people that have like 20 parts for that one playthrough i'm like Holy fuck. Like, that will actually surpass my playthrough. On Sunday, you'll return. That playthrough was 17 fucking parts long. Took me a month to do. But again, I also was moving and not really 100% on the whole thing. But regardless, very fucking long. I was looking at how long the videos were, and they're only about, like, 20, maybe 30 minutes. Uh, so I'm pretty much thinking, like, if I maybe do, like, what, 45 minutes to, like, an hour, that I could squeeze in maybe, like, what, like, it'd be, like, what, 9, 10 parts max? 11 if I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. The reviews on Steam are legit i think it's mostly positive or overwhelmingly positive or some shit like that i'm just gonna get stuck on it i'm gonna have to do a lot of fucking editing that's that's gonna be awesome my mouth's still super dry so this video might be short so if you guys are new make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe my name is sam or glassface and i'll see you guys tomorrow later